Hello and welcome to Professor Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to import products from Amazon uh, or how to scrap products from Amazon and import them into your WooCommerce store. So in my previous video, I showed you how you can build this website like uh, the one you are seeing on my screen. Uh, I showed every step how you can install this website on a WordPress uh, fresh installation and then uh, I showed you how you can install WooCommerce. Now I'll show you how to import or how to scrap products from Amazon and add them to your website. So currently if you can see that this website is related to iPhone models and uh, I'll, I'll have to scrap all iPhones or at least uh, 10 to 15 iPhone models to my shop page. Currently if I uh, go to my shop page, let me go to the shop page you will see that I do not have any products yet as well as if I show you the back end of my website then you can see uh, there, is, there are no products yet so we will start importing uh, in a couple of minutes before uh, after we scrap products from Amazon okay now for this we will be using uh, Google Chrome browser open the browser and install a Chrome extension called webscrapper.io webscrapper.io press enter and click on install Chrome plugin click on add to chrome and after clicking on add to chrome you will be able to see icon like this if not then click on these extensions and pin this pin this chrome uh, to here okay now after installing this uh, to my chrome browser i close this and open amazon.com okay now as I am getting iPhone models so I'll search for iPhone models here we have uh, we have some accessories we have some phones let's restrict this to Apple so that we uh, only have Apple Apple's original products whether they are phones they are watch they are tag or chargers okay now uh, we have the URLs for the product and we have the Chrome browser uh, Chrome extension installed now right click and click on inspect element if your inspector opens uh, at the bottom of the page just like this then you can see the web scrapper but if uh, you are opening this for the first time then you might see this on the left sidebar like this so click on these three dots for settings uh, there are two uh, types of three dots these are for the browser settings and these are for the inspector so click on this and click on dock to bottom and it will become here okay click on web scrapper and click on create new sitemap and create sitemap it will ask for URL uh, copy that URL where you can see those products uh, I have a search result of approximately 11 products so I'll copy this URL and paste it within the URL field now type Amazon iPhone or whatever you want to name your CS uh, your sitemap click on create sitemap now we will get all the single from the root the root means this URL which we uh, gave in our initial start okay type single choose link select multiple and one by one choose the title or the image if you choose three of them it will select all of them click done selecting let's preview if you are seeing all URLs then it's okay close it and save it now open any of these phones page and 
open uh, this one this single here now we will get the title image the short description and price so let's see click on add new selector give title leave type as text select click here done let's see the preview yeah title is here okay now we will get the short description or the specifications just save the title add new selector specs and choose html because this is this will be uh, in the table format like this see it's all html okay save it now let's get the image this one search for image and choose text to image select and click we have the image here save selector now scroll down we have uh, another short description short text as HTML select and choose the whole element this one we have it save it okay now scroll down and search for the about section the product description yeah click on add new description HTML select and choose the element save it okay we have everything now I think we must get the category as well let's click on start uh, sitemap and scrap start scrapping wait for approximately uh, 30 seconds to one minute and it will get all these products one by one into the CSV file then we will download that CSV and we'll get all these products into our uh, WooCommerce store it started from the bottom and it will get all these products one by one uh, let me pause this video and I'll start again after uh, completing the scrapper do not close uh, this browser this is the scrapper browser and this was the parent browser so do not close this one and uh, leave it as it is okay after uh, scrapping click on sitemap and click on export data select CSV and save the file on desktop amazon iphone.csv okay now go to your uh, wordpress dashboard and open products all products and click on start import let me show you again the shop page is empty and we have the products in our csv file and we will now be importing all these uh, products to our WordPress WooCommerce section click on browse and open that iPhone uh, sorry Amazon iPhone dot CSV and click on continue after it uploads the file uh, we will see that titles name yes it's already there specs specs will be in short description image SRC image SRC will be images 
short let's leave short description will be description click on run importer and it will get all these uh, 11 uh, 10 to 11 products into our WooCommerce store let's click on view products and see if all these products are there just a couple of images are missing uh, for apple tag and for apple watch otherwise all other images are added let's go to the shop page and refresh it and see if uh, every products is there yeah products are there uh, we we just have to add the prices for to each product and then uh, we will be able to click uh, add to cart if you open any single page a single product you will see uh, there will be a title a short description image and a description title uh, title here image a description some product might have a short description some might not let's check for apple tag we do not have any description for this let's choose the one which we used to get the single product page we have title we have uh, category we have image and we have description so uh, that's all for today's video i hope you learned something uh, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos. Thank you